It's a race against the clock for veterinarians at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. They're trying to save the newest member of the giraffe family. Three-week-old Julius is not doing well, and his story is touching hearts around the country. WJC is live at the zoo right now. Amy Yancey has the latest on the fight to save the baby giraffe. Amy. Well, Vic, the entire hospital staff is keeping a close watch on baby Julius. They say he's not looking good, so they're trying every possible treatment they can, and they still have hope. The birth of the first male giraffe at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore in decades brought joy to the staff here, but it did not last long. Julius has been fighting for his life from the start. Nursing the three-week-old calf has been nearly impossible. He could not latch on to his mother or take a bottle. He's not getting enough antibodies to prevent disease. Veterinarians discovering signs of infection. Now he has had peaks and valleys throughout his treatment, as many critical patients will, um, but the newest step um, in the last several days has definitely been um, in the negative direction. The entire hospital staff is trying every treatment possible to save him. His 24-hour intensive care includes two blood plasma transfusions from a giraffe at the Columbus Zoo and a giraffe from Cheyenne Mountain. So we're hoping he perks up. Take that bottle, Julius. Baby Julius has been so sick since birth, he has not been able to leave the giraffe house or make his public debut. I think it's good that they're keeping him in, in a you know, closed-in area where he can get well and better and not have to be seen by people. We were coming to tell Willow, his sister, to give him a little good, you know, good luck kisses from us as well. Handlers are weighing all options for Julius, including euthanasia. There is certainly that possibility, um, but it is not one that we're looking forward to, and we're still um, working with him to hopefully not have to come to that conclusion. Now, in order for Julius to survive, his health needs to turn around within the next couple days. Reporting live tonight, Amy NC, WJZ Eyewitness News. Vic, back to you. Amy, thank you. And if you'd like more information on Julius and the zoo's efforts to save him, we have a link on our website at cbsbaltimore.com. Everybody's pulling for Julius. Oh, yeah, and so hard for those zoo workers because mm. they fall in love with them.